When I rewatched Edit and Eddie's Big Picture Show, I was blown away not only with the quality of the animation, but also with the emotions I felt in its final moments. That's right, this movie, 10 years later, still gives me chills. Not because of nostalgia, but because of the message behind it all. In the first minute and a half, you are treated with nothing but pure and utter silence except the sounds and nature of the environment. And why do they do this? Because this is the final episode of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. The last time you are ever going to see Peach Creek, the town the show takes place in. And the movie just wants you to take that in. When this is over, you will never see these houses again. You will never see this sprinkler animated again. You see this flower? Do you appreciate it? Well, you better because it's the last time you're ever gonna see it. The whole peaceful vibe captures the feeling of, yes, it's just a setting, but it's a setting we've been looking at for 11 years or so. Genius. Well, that's one way to spoil the moment, and here we go. The Eds cower in fear and run for their lives as they're being chased by an angry mob over a scam that went way too far. Now check out these sequels of events. They then escape into a car, fly out of the house, completely annihilate somebody's private property, fly through a forest, run through a fence, bump every object imaginable, soar through the air upside down, swerve all over the place, grab a merry-go-round in a park, and hang on for dear life as they spin their way to temporary victory. And somehow, some way, their car stays intact. Oh, never mind. The ads begin to search for Eddie's big brother, which the show has been hyping up for years to be this ultimate badass that Eddie looks up to. Meanwhile, all the other characters attempt to hunt them down before that happens. This is when we truly get to see the Ed's relationship tested. Throughout their adventure, Eddie is constantly irritating Double D with practical jokes. This is nothing new, he's been doing this the entire series. The only difference this time, however, is considering the stakes are higher, Double D takes the situation that he's in very seriously, but never receives the recognition he deserves. Instead, his so-called friends are constantly making jokes at his expense. As the pranks become more emotional, we begin to see his patience slowly run out, until we get to a point where he's finally had enough. I've had enough! I'm returning home! But we can't go home, Double D! I'd rather face my consequences, Ed, than wander aimlessly with a so-called friend! Hey, it ain't so! We then see a side of Eddie we don't normally see as one of the only two people to always stay by his side, even after all the crap he's put them through with his notorious scams and immature behavior, was about to leave his life forever. Double D notices the emotion on his friend and returns. What? <laughs> Your shirt, Eddie. My shirt? Are those salt deposits from your lamentation? <coughs> gotcha! We are friends once more, guys! This scene perfectly captures that brother-like connection so many of us can relate to. Our relationship with our siblings or friends can be very complicated. Typically, you can't stand them or you may even annoy the hell out of them. But deep down, there's nothing but love and respect, even though it's hard for us to express or admit at times. Sometimes all we really want is confirmation that our friends care about us the same way we care about them. In this situation, that's all Double D ever wanted. What makes this scene so memorable is that we can finally see just how much Eddie appreciates his friend. Beautiful.
Moments later, the Eds finally reach their destination. The nerves kick in for the whole crew as Eddie's brother is revealed at long last. And what do we learn about him? You wanna crash in my place, don't ya? That's why we came all the way- I'm gold! I'm gold! I'm gold! Say what? I'm gold! Don't forget to wipe your feet. Dude, Eddie's brother is a real jerk. We learn that Eddie's brother is the ultimate antagonist of the series. All the characters watch in shock as they are witnessing sibling abuse before their very eyes. Ed heroically pulls a nail out of a door Eddie was holding onto, and Eddie's brother receives exactly what he deserves. Double D and Ed rush to check up on their friend. Eddie opens up, and the truth is revealed. I made it all up, Double D. Everything about my brother was a lie. I just made things up so people would like me, think I was cool. But boy, was I wrong. Scam my brother, this. What am I gonna learn, Double D? Eddie idolized his abuser for the attention and acceptance of others. That's all he ever wanted this entire series. To finally be appreciated. To finally win something. To finally impress his brother. By using the same shameful tactics he was taught as a child. Eddie's backstory demonstrates people don't necessarily behave the way they do because that's just who they are. And sure, it doesn't always justify their actions, but it does put things into perspective. It's easy to revert to hatred or seeking revenge when somebody crosses our line because naturally, we believe that's what they deserve. But in reality, all Eddie really needed was for someone to appreciate him in a way he deserved to be his entire childhood. Grab him! No, take me! Okay, I'm sorry, on him! I didn't mean to hurt you guys! The same people who have been angrily chasing after Eddie this entire movie are now at his support when he needed it most. The Eds celebrate in disbelief as they are finally accepted. And just like that, the show concludes. If there was a message I could take away from this cartoon, it would be to be kind to everyone. Because you never know the full story as to why somebody is the way they are. Regardless of all the crap somebody has done, maybe all that person really needs is a friend.